In this lesson, we will allot the submitted work for peer assessment as teacher, and then assess the work as a student in workshop activity. On the course main page, scroll down to third week of the course, and click on proposal for project, to open it. Two students have submitted their work. So, we can allocate submissions to students for peer assessment. To allocate submissions to students, click Allocate Submissions in the Submission phase. Now we are on Manual Allocation tab, where we can manually assign the submissions for assessment. If the group is small we can assign the submissions manually, but if there are a large number of students then random allocation is easier. It also maintains certain degree of randomness in the allocation. So, click on Random Allocation tab. And change number of reviews to 1. Leave other settings as default and click Save Changes. The submissions have been allocated. You can see that, Student 1 is reviewer of Student 2, and vice versa. Now switch back to Manual Allocation tab. Although the submissions have automatically been allocated, but you can still edit it manually here. Click on Proposal for Project in the navigation bar. Notice that now the Allocate Submissions task is checked, denoting it's complete. Now turn on the Assessment phase by clicking the bulb icon above Assessment column. You can also allow Assessment phase for a time period by using Access Control settings in Workshop Settings. Click Continue. Once you turned on the Assessment phase, you can see a table showing the users who have submitted their proposals and grades received by them for their submission with the grades given by them to other student in peer assessment process. Switch to Google Chrome now, and log in as student 1 to assess the allotted submission. Notice that you are logged in as student 1. Scroll down, and click on Proposal for Project to open it. Note that in order to assess the work of student 2, you have to first assess the example submission. Click on Assess link to assess the example submission. This is the example submission submitted by the teacher for reference. Now assess it by selecting your responses for each criteria. When you have selected response for all criterion, click Save and Close. And then click on Proposal for Project in Navigation Bar. Notice that now we have assessed the example submission and the Assess Examples task is checked. Now, we can assess the submission by student 2. Click Assess link to assess the submission. Here you can see the submission done by student 2. Scroll down. Select appropriate levels for different criterion. When you have selected the levels for all criterion, click on Save and Close. Notice that student 1 has assessed student 2's work and hence, Assess Peers task is checked. You can also reassess the submission, if you wish. Now we will assess student 1's work. Log out student 1, and log in as student 2 now. Note that now we are logged in as student 2. Click the assess link, to assess the example submission. As done in case of student 1. Select appropriate levels for all the criterion. Scroll down. And when you have selected all criterion, click Save and Close. Then click on Proposal for Project in Navigation Bar. As you have assessed the example submission, the Assess Examples task is checked. Now we can assess the assigned submission. Click the Assess link to assess the assignment. Here you can see the submission done by Student 1. Scroll down to view the rubric. And select appropriate levels for each criterion. When you have selected all the criterion, click Save and Close. Now Student 2 has assessed Student 1's work and hence Assess Peer's task is checked. You can also reassess the submission. Both the students, that is Student 1 and Student 2 have submitted their work and assessed the example and peer assessments. Now, we would see the grades for both students. Now switch to Firefox and log in as teacher to view the grade for the workshop. Notice that now we are logged in Moodle as admin user. Now we are on the main page of workshop activity. Scroll down. Here you can see the student name, 
Project name, the grades received and grades given by students for the assignment. But these are not the final grades. In the next lesson, we would turn on the grade evaluation phase. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.